So welcome back to Cruise Outdoors. I know it's been a minute since we've done a video, but we've been super, super busy. Behind the scenes though, we had Viver reach out to us and they wanted us to review this portable compressor. So this is their unit right here. Obviously, you know that we have um, a Viver compressor that Danny modified. This is the modified compressor that runs off 110 volt that we've hooked up this radiator to. And uh, it's like semi portable if you have DC power yeah. or AC power, sorry. Yeah. But now we got DC power. So that means we can run this thing off of a car battery. And that's exactly what we're gonna do today. We're gonna take our guns out to the field and just do a real world scenario. You know, we're out of air, gotta fill up. We got the car, we got car battery. And this right here, this is our very first time using it. So this is our like genuine reaction to the product. Yes, <laughs> we haven't even tested this out, but it did pass a quality control by Lee. So hopefully Lee did a good job. And this thing works when we get out there or else we're gonna drive all the way out to the property and for nothing. For nothing, we won't even have air. <laughs> oh, this is not gonna be a good look if uh, this don't work. <laughs> the stakes are high. Yeah. But I got faith because that other one runs really good. This so. is true. We've had very good luck with our Vivor products so far. So let's see how this one works. All right. Okay, let's hit the road. than I was expecting. <laughs> Dang, I, you built this car good. <laughs> well, I know who's washing it. <laughs> Shoot. That looks so sick, by the way. Wait till you see it. Let's get out the goods. Oh, yeah. The Viver. Maybe we should it's Vivor. I was gonna say, maybe we should just call it Vivor because. Is it V? It's not Vivor, right? No, it was I'll... just that one guy that I thought was really funny. We saw one YouTube video, uh, some guy from uh, the South who was calling it a Vivor. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what we have here is a Vivor compressor. Yeah. Well, let's get the guns out and then we'll go over yeah. what we're dealing with. Mm hmm. I think it's been over a week since we last shot. We've been very busy with refrigeration work. There she is. This is the rifle that won the last shooting competition, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, by Pure Right here, Lock. champion. Pure champion air rifle right here. Mm -hmm. We got the FX Pantra. This is a Mexican version imported. Mm -hmm. Not the Pantera, not the... Pantera, Pantra. And this is the better looking FX Dynamic. With the bigger bottle, the better buttstock, with my shorter suppressor from Buckrail. And that is, that's nice. Just a better looking combo, you know, that's all. Yeah, how much air do you have? Um, I don't know. Let's see. Well, oh. you actually got a decent amount of air. So this right here is Vivers. Portable 4500 PSI PCP air compressor. So this thing is a really good looking unit. Um, it's got a pressure gauge up top that you can set. We have ours set to 250 bar. It's got um, a thermometer display right here. It's got some um, really tiny fans here on the side. We'll see how these perform. Um, it's got these really nice alligator clips. They're actually pretty strong. Got some strength to them. Yeah. A little bit of bite. Mm-hmm. I'll get a clamps. <laughs> and then um, 
what also comes with it is this little rebuild kit. Some full Which we'll never need. Probably never need. Um, instructions. And then um, it's got a hookup for um, for 110 mm -hmm. volts. So this thing, what makes it super cool is that you could hook it up at your house or you could hook it up to your car battery. So it runs off of 12 volts or 110. So wherever you guys are, you have that option. Yeah, that's nice. Because like, look at us, we're out here. There is no power. Yeah, just a lot of dust. So we're going to give this thing a spin right now. We're going to get it hooked up to the car battery. And I think we'll start with the Pantra. Let's, yeah, we'll fill up the Pantra first. Um, the question is, do we hook it up to the car battery while the car is running or with the car off? It's 12 volts, the battery just sitting there, 12.4. Yeah. But if the car is running, it'll be like at 14. Mm -hmm. I think... It's better to have a little bit more voltage than less voltage. This thing's going to be running for a little while. The last yeah. thing we want is to run it on 11 volts. That'll probably hurt it more than a 14. Yeah. So we'll just run the car. Yeah. Hopefully got some gas left. I hope. <laughs> okay. There's our 12 volt battery. And let's get this thing hooked up. I think if we set it here, those cables will reach far enough to the battery. We should. Look at this. Let's see how. That's pretty cool. Pretty, pretty long. <clears throat> and oh, this. It's on that side. On this side? Yes. Okay. All right, Lee. All right, Lee. Let's see what you did. Let's see how well you did here. Black to positive, red to negative. Zzz. Oh. Oh, it did. <gasps> oh, something's happening. Should I fire up the car? <clears throat> mm, yeah. He's in there. Hope. instructions people but these are actually really good and really simple so lots of photos guys highly recommend yeah this thing seems pretty straightforward it says turn on the fan first engage we got two of the world's smallest most powerfulest fans check this out it feels <laughs> like a jet taking yeah, off yeah these fans move a ton of air like <laughs> they move a lot of air that's wild so, all right, let's compressor engage. Oh, okay, we got, is that bolted? There is the temperature. Almost to 250 bar. Let's see if it turns off by itself. So, where is it sitting? Uh, hang on, hang on.
see that. 250 oh, exactly. Oh, wow. Yee -yee. All right, now what? Bleed <laughs> valve? Um, yes, bleeder valve. And fan. Fan? Wow. Actually, that was a lot faster than I was thinking. That was not bad, Beaver. Not bad, Lee. <laughs> I really, really like this thing. Yeah. Okay, honest first impression, if this is how it's going to perform, this is going to be a game changer for us. Yeah. To be out in the field. B and Big time. Big, big time. Wow. Did it say what temp it could get to? Or? It said 80 degrees Fahrenheit was the maximum that that could get, and I think it was at, like, what, 30 or something like that? It was 37. Psh, I ain't nothing for this beaver. Dude, that means I can fill up mine. Yeah. Let's, let's do yours next. Okay. I forgot I had a 300 bar tank on here, so I went ahead and put a little bit more pressure in there. Let me turn these fans off for you. Wow. That is surprisingly fast. And it just went up to 300 bar, no problem. Yeah. Because I have the upgraded tank on here for 300 bar, so. I was watching the temp and it was like cooling. Like this, these fans were like. These fans are <laughs> insane for how small they are. Like they move a ton of <laughs> no, air. No, like you feel it right Could there. you imagine if your engine fan, your your radiator fan there was like, like as cold. strong as that for like as comparable to size? This thing would be running cold. We wouldn't even need a radiator. It would just be <laughs> air cooled. <laughs> well, let's fill up yours. So the rebuild kit comes with a bunch of these desiccant filters and we're gonna pop a new one in here right now. See a little tampon for air guns. <laughs> Why? It's that time of the month for the beaver. <laughs> well, this is gonna trap all, uh, all the moisture in here instead of allowing it to go into your air gun. Yeah. Okay, so now up. See, look, 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 look. See what it did? See what it did? See that? See that? Wow. Okay, I'll give your Panthera one little, uh... Come on, come on, compliment. One it's a compliment? Little, one little thing. It's about the looks, huh? No, no. I knew God, it. no. It's just about that you have your fill, like, on the side of the buttstock, whereas mine is, like, right under here, so that's kind of, like, annoying and awkward. Underbelly? Yeah, hang on. Oh, right there? Yeah. It's like a little cow nipple. <laughs> what is this going on? A little udder. <laughs> oh, we, should we turn the car on? Can we do a professional review? <laughs> this is real life review. Fire the hog up. Let's set yours to 250. Uh, 250's right there. Ready? Yeah. My gun didn't have a whole lot more to go in terms of filling. Just decided to leave it this way and not shoot out too many just for sake of time in the video. Didn't want to bore you guys doing like a full fill.
All right, what are your first impressions of this thing? It's pretty, pretty trick, actually. It's a lot faster than I was expecting. I had a previous 12 volt compressor had from a different company and had a bad experience with it. So when they sent us a 12 volt one, I was a little skeptical, but it's a, uh, it's really fast and um, I like that the fans are really impressive. They keep this thing really cool. Uh, like I said, it filled up the gun really fast and it's a little bit noisy. That's probably the only con to it. Yeah. Um, I like this little automatic stop, although I wouldn't um, recommend like trusting something like that. Mm -hmm. Just I would keep an eye on it still. Um, but it's great for us now. We have a way of filling up our guns out here in the sticks where there's no power to plug in 110 volt for our other compressor. So now we could shoot all day out here. I'd say my reaction is the same as Danny's. I'm really impressed with how quickly it filled the guns. Um, fans are gnarly. Those things were moving some air. Uh, pressure gauge. It is cool that it actually stopped um, where, exactly where we set it. But like you said, you should, probably shouldn't leave this thing unattended. Um, I was also impressed with how well it cooled. It never got above, I think, 37. We'll check the footage, but somewhere in there. And I don't know, it's just really simple to use. Like, it could not be more straightforward of a unit. So for somebody like me who's, like, just getting into this, I, I really like it. It's a good-looking piece, too. Definitely good-looking. So I would say that... This is, well, first impression is approved. I really do like it. So this is Vivor's portable 4500 PSI PCP compressor. You can find it on their site, but don't worry. I'm gonna leave the link for it down below. And if you guys want to save 5% off this unit, if you're looking to buy one for yourself, you can use our code. I'll put it here on the screen. It's VVSALE5 and you'll get 5% off, or you can just use the link in the description and I think it will automatically apply it. But yeah, so I'm, I'm stoked about it. This, this changes our shooting game. Definitely. So the only thing I was worried about was running out of gas. <laughs> <laughs> in the car yeah. well we'll have to look into it uh, i mean i don't know how much um amps this thing is drawing but um it might be best to run your vehicle while you're charging it up but it what it only took us five eight minutes to charge up the guns yeah this is this is really cool so beaver approved okay let's do some shooting before the sun goes down mm -hmm. So that's going to do it for this Viver review. Hope you guys enjoyed. We have been super busy, as I mentioned earlier. So hopefully in the next couple weeks, we're going to be pushing out a lot more content on this channel. We appreciate your patience. And as always, thank you for all the awesome comments. And if you yeah. want to send us stuff, we set up a P.O. box. I'm going to also leave that in the description box below. But yeah, we will see you guys next time. <laughs> Yep. Dink. That was, one shot, one kill, baby. That was a steel you know target all the way down there. How far is that, you think? 150. Shoot. Again? Yeah. Is it repeatable? <sighs> <laughs> a weapon. Dang, okay. 70 grains. Yeah? 70 grain slugs, that's crazy. This is a coyote slayer. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that coyote would be done. Canceled. <laughs>